Um, my name's Arlene Black and I'm currently the head teacher at Williamston Primary School in Livingston in West Lothian. Most historically, um, and what maybe a lot of people would understand by attainment is e exam results, test results, and that very sort of narrow definition of attainment. And whilst that's you know really really important, and we need to to make sure our children, and young people, are well prepared for the the, the examinations that, that they will need to sit, you know, when they when they hit the senior phase of high school. It's important to build their confidence, to get them to realise that, you know, intelligence, ability is not just about the sort of high tariff subject areas. Um, it's about their various strengths. Now, whether that's within expressive arts, whether they're really sporty, um, we need to support them. We need to challenge them. Um, but, you know, attainment to me and rich attainment is about, obviously, attainment during exams, but also in its wider sense. And I mean, one of the, the vital things is that every member of staff gets involved. Um, so you have to really work hard to create a culture of collegiality, a culture where um, you can open up the classroom doors, um, that teachers want to come out of their classrooms, they want to work not only with the children in their own class, but at whole school level. Um, but that doesn't just happen overnight. It's extremely important that um, they live those values on a, on a day to day basis. It's not just about articulating them on the odd occasion when you're maybe doing a presentation, but it's about living them um, and, and having that integrity. You need to know what, um, what the impact has been of your work. So it's about really understanding the process of self evaluation, engaging with that at all levels in the school. So pupils are part of this as well. You know, they need to know how well they're doing. They need to know what their strengths are, they need to know what their development needs are. Obviously teachers need to know um, their, their pupils inside out. You know, children really have to have an active role in their own learning now and we need to build their capacity, give them the language and the ability to be able to understand that. We need to be ambitious for them, we need to have aspiration for them and we need to you know, keep reinforcing that with them. Um, so that you know their confidence builds and they have lots of opportunity to develop their skills in in, in that way. Mm -hmm. um, Only by engaging in that sort of discussion with children that, that we can then you know be reflective in terms of our own practice and um, plan learning that really meets their needs and is going to improve their attainment. We've involved parents, I suppose, in in ways that lots of other schools across the country have. Um, parents, first of all, need to know that they will be welcome in school. So one of the first things I did in both my schools was to do my utmost to create a welcoming environment for parents. And I think that's you know really powerful and, and gives the message to parents that you know, we value um, their contributions, their opinions. Um, some of them you know, may not always be positive, but we need to know that too, because we need to know how we can improve um, the experience we recently had um, a GLOW curriculum evening to share more information about GLOW with parents. So um, we ask them what they want to know and we try and, and provide various avenues to, to share that information with them. It's absolutely vital that everybody, every member of the whole school, school community um, has a voice, um, feels that their opinion is valued, has a meaningful role and if that is all in place, then we will soar to high levels.